Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are back at it again, 2022, first video of the new year. I know it's January 14th and I'm barely making my first video of the year, but what a better topic than the Lego Muppets minifigure series, which is going to come out this May, probably May 1st. And that day, I'm pretty sure is all still like rumored and everything. And even this is a leak, so we don't have any actual Lego like in actual information but here you can see the front packaging as you can see there are going to be 12 minifigures just like the last few series that we had this is a lot like the looney tunes in the sense that it's a licensed theme with many different vibrant characters the background is white and we're getting 12 and it's a license that we've never seen before we've seen lego sesame street but this is different this is the muppets and although those are muppet characters these are the muppets muppets if that makes sense, it probably doesn't. But anyways, this is great. I, I mean, we already knew that this was coming just like a few months back, even in 2021. And um, and we also knew that we were getting 12, of course. And we knew the 12 characters that we were getting. And on here, we can see, what, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of the 12 characters. So I'm looking here. The characters that aren't on the actual packaging are Stalin Waldorf, Janice, and ralph so those are the characters that we can't see here but the rest of the eight characters we can see and of course starting off we have the one and only kermit the frog and let me start off by saying these all look great i love every single one of them they all of course have new molded heads which is perfect and um anyways so going back to kermit the frog uh, we got a little bit of a darker color than i expected um, I thought it was going to be more of the lighter color, but I actually think that this um, green that they chose is a lot more accurate. I thought they were going to go for that nice uh, bright green with some of the minifigures that come out every now and then. But I like the color that they chose for that. And, you know, we don't we can't see his legs, but I'm assuming that they're going to be short legs. And uh, his collars printed and everything. Didn't expect it to be a new piece, of course. Um, and then... Yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. He looks great. And I don't, I mean, I don't see a single accessory with any of the figures here. And that's a little bit unfortunate because usually I think on the front packaging, the minifigures are holding what they come with. And that I'm seeing right here, I don't see anything. It's possible, like, I think all of them have, like, a hand that is out of view. So it's possible that they are holding something and just, we just can't see um but anyways so yeah great minifigure absolutely excited and then next to him to the left is of course miss piggy um i really am excited with the um outfit that they chose because i wasn't exactly sure what they were going to go with but this definitely kind of looks like a nice um vintage kind of 70s 80s miss piggy look rather than kind of new um, which I'm very excited for. Hair and just all of that too as well. And something interesting to note is that her arm looks to be new. Uh, one comment I saw on, I think, uh, Jessica's video or something or on Instagram. I have no idea. Anyways, was that it looks like a mini doll arm, which it could be. But I personally don't have a single mini doll. So I don't know if those arms can go on minifigures. I don't think they can. So it's like a brand new longer slash skinnier arm. Um, I'm pretty sure, unless the picture is just kind of distorted. Um, but it that's what it looks like. Uh, it's kind of interesting there. But anyways, um, we can't tell if she has legs or a dress piece or a skirt or what. Can't see that. Um, but anyways, she looks great. And then to the right of Kermit, we have Fozzie Bear, which also looks really great. Um, the tie is printed and all, you know, all the molding on the head is great. And he looks a little bit of a interesting color here. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because who knows, like, how different these will look in real life compared to this image. But I do think the color that they chose is probably the best color of, like, the actual LEGO official color. His actual color is probably not really a color that doesn't that actually exists in the lego inventory so i think in terms of which ones they can do this is probably the best one and then going above to him and oh also i think his hat is gonna be molded like it's gonna be a part of the actual head would have been nice if it was removable but i don't I mean, it's possible 
It's possible it could be like Donald Duck and Daisy, where it's, you know, that little peg that sticks into the head. Uh, we can't tell from just this image. And then above him, we have Gonzo, um, who looks really nice here. His head looks, uh, well, actually, no, I, I like his head. The colors are nice and everything. I don't know. It's just maybe the eyes look a little cartoony to me a bit. Um, but no, it's a really great figure, honestly. And then he is wearing that uh, red chili pepper shirt, which is probably the best option. I would have loved to have seen him in his little, uh, is it purple or red? It's one of those uh, little tuxedo from the Muppet Show. But the outfit that they chose is a very common outfit that's been around for a while and I see it everywhere. So it's very understandable that they chose it. And I think that outfit is very, um, it represents Gonzo in probably the best way that outfit there. So that's nice. And then next to him, which I'm excited, um, or not excited, but a surprise rather, made it to the front packaging to the left of him there, is Bunsen Honeydew. Definitely not a character that I would expect to make it to the front, but I mean, I guess if you're gonna have Big Girl in the front, you kind of have to have Bunsen. Um, but anyways, he looks great. Um, actually, really great, actually. I think they really nailed his um, head there. Unfortunately, out of all these characters, he is the one where we can see the absolute um minimum of like it's literally just his head we can see his tie there but that's pretty much it it's mainly just the head that we can see and then above him is um beaker of course which looks really great i'm very happy that none of these like um kind of like the pencil dude i can't remember his actual name but uh the the pencil from dc um that one cmf i was afraid they were going to do that i'm i'm very glad none of it is like like the Swedish chef they could have done a normal head with printed on it I'm so glad that they decided to go with every single character having brand new like molds for their heads because that well I mean we don't have we haven't seen all of them Statler and Waldorf oh I based on the fact that all of these are molded I'm gonna assume that the rest of the four figures are also molded um because I mean that just makes the most sense that Swedish chef is like Sandler and Waldorf where they're like humanoid characters um Beaker kind of too so they're probably gonna have molded heads which is great because I think it's the best option if you really want to capture them instead of using um normal lego heads but anyways going back to Beaker um he's one in the Swedish chef where we can see the most of um he looks great I mean he looks pretty much as best as he can be the outfit looks great it's accurate and all that and the, he the head looks great too. The hair looks to be red. It might be more of an orangish color. It should be a, a little bit of a lighter orange. But I think overall it's fine. It just looks to be like the same color as his mouth. But then again, it could just be the picture. But he looks great as well. And then let's move on to Animal there who's kind of just popping out. He looks really great. The printing and molding on the head and everything looks absolutely great. All of it looks amazing. Especially that printed mouth detail in there. Absolutely perfect. And then his torso, like the dual molded arms and everything, also looks really great there as well. Absolutely amazing minifigure. Um, once again, like most of the others here, we can see very little of him. But then... Over all the way to the right, we have our last figure that we can see on the packaging. Of course, again, uh, there are four more figures. But the last one, we have Swedish Chef. Again, I'm glad that they went with the molded head. He looks great as well there. The printing on his torso and everything looks great. And uh, once again, there are no accessories, at least seen on the packaging. Um, I wouldn't be that surprised if there are not any accessories, maybe not at all, but I don't know, because say the Disney series, like, I'd say most of the characters with, like, molded heads don't, didn't have accessories, because, like, I guess the molded head was kind of all you needed, and that might be what's going on here, so it will be a little bit unfortunate if absolutely none of these have any accessories, because... I mean, that, yeah, it's just, that would be really unfortunate. But in terms of what we can see on the packaging, there are no accessories. I can't exactly really picture what the Disney one looked like, but I'm sure you could have seen some of their accessories. But anyways, hey, while I was editing, I wanted to make this quick note. Something that I just kind of thought about as I was editing is the fact that, yes, this first 
Disney series like the Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, those didn't have accessories, although they had brand new molded heads. And so I was kind of figuring, well, brand new molded heads kind of, I guess, in Lego's mind means that's enough, you know, stuff for that minifigure. But really, that kind of changes after that. True, like, I think every single molded head in that series, um, all those characters didn't have accessories. Although, in the second series, you know, you had Huey, Dewey, Louie, Scrooge, and Chip and Dale, and every single one of them, although none of them had, like, um, actual brand new pieces, although I can't remember which, I don't know the names, I can't distinguish, but the, the red, you know, duck twin has a book that has brand new printing, although it's not, like, a brand new book piece. So all of them have accessories, and uh, even Steamboat Willie, although I don't really count him in many because, you know, they're, like, not new pieces, they're just recolored. So anyways, there's that, and, um, of course, the best series to really compare this to is the Looney Tunes series, because it's kind of the most similar series we have right now. Um, and every single one of those figures has some sort of accessory, every single one. And the only thing that... So of so of course it would only make sense that the Muppet series would have figure uh, accessories too. But only problem is is that both of the packaging for the Disney series two and the Looney Tunes figures you can see at least one accessory. So that's a bit unfortunate. But anyways, who knows? We might not. Um, I mean, is it really that hard to give like? Well, I don't know accessories. I'm kind of thinking of accessories and. A lot of them would have to be specifically made for the characters. But anyways, please give us accessories, Lego. We'll just have to wait and see when we get further leaks. But anyways, I just wanted to add that little note there. Hopefully there are, but there's none seen on the packaging. And then uh, speaking of the packaging, we have the white. White is going to be the color for this one. Uh, they went with the logo, which I assume they were going to go with the uh, new one that came out uh, like just about a decade ago. The... Uh, black text with the M being Kermit there. And of course, Disney. Disney owns the Muppets, if you didn't know. So there's also the Disney logo there. Um, so there you go. There is that. Um, I'm really excited for this. Of course, it's going to be... Um, I'm going to get this as soon as possible. And yeah, I'm super excited for this. So anyways, guys, there you have it. There we have the leaked packaging. It shouldn't be too long until we see all the figures um probably in closer detail this is not like the clearest picture and it's only the packaging but it won't be too long since we are literally already getting a picture here it won't be too long until we get a even closer look um than this without any actual official lego reveal as always with literally everything absolutely everything we see before lego shows us but anyways there you have it there it is I'm so excited that this is happening. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely did. This is a great day. Having this image is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. Can't wait. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.